this is for some of our high-flying birds that we have, bald eagles, red-tailed hawks, great blue herons that may be just soaring over our runways. That's a northern harrier over there. And I'm gonna try to intercept it right about like this. And it scares them, but there's really no danger to the bird. Uh, no danger to the bird. We're not aiming the pyrotechnic right at them. We're usually putting it to the, in a place where we can direct them to a safer place. Really, it reinstills this fright, flight response. It gets them afraid, gets them moving, and if you use multiple ones, once they start moving the direction you want them heading, you fire a few more and they'll keep heading that direction. Well, we are the first airport that has this avian radar system. Again, this could be anywhere from 10 or 20 or maybe even be up to 100 birds. It's about the size of a red-tailed hawk, about two pounds, and it could do substantial damage to an aircraft. See, these are objects that I don't see with my naked eye, but yet you go, you look at the radar, and it raises your awareness of those areas you should take another look. How do you know when you actually have prevented a strike or not is always a question that'd be difficult to ask. But what we can do is we can get out there and harass more birds than we normally had in the past. Our time can be used a lot more efficiently.